Kilometre Speedway. Today we're at the Kings Lynn Stadium with the Southern Track Riders. Now, Speedway is a very curious sport. It's run on an oval circuit, so riders only have to contend with left hand bends. The bikes have no brakes or gears. More importantly, well, it's very noisy as you can hear, but more importantly, it's one of the few sports where you actually accelerate into and around the corners. This enables the back wheel to slide to literally broadside the machine. Now, to find out a little bit more about the sport, my sidekick for today is Mick Coombs. He's been involved in motorsport for well over 40 years. Mick, it's quite interesting for just seeing all the different ages, age groups of people. I mean, it's from young kids to, to mature riders. It really is a, a sport across the board, isn't it? Absolutely, a real family sport. Can, can you take us through the sort of the, the, the actual basics of speedway riding, how it works, how many laps, how many competitors? Right, well, it's basically short track racing on a loose surface. The bike is set up with very steep forks, a rigid back end to slide around the circuit. Four riders start the race and they're identified with different coloured helmets and it's four laps. The first one past the flag is a winner. Looking at the bike, it's very different from my road going bike that I use every day. Could you run me through a couple of the different sort of specs on it compared to a road bike? Well basically, if you look at the hubs, there are no brakes. It's very dangerous to have brakes on a motorcycle like this. The riders ride very close together. If somebody got out of shape and touched a brake, the others couldn't stop before the other chap. So no brakes. It's got one gear and a clutch, and you adjust the gear with the sprockets to suit every track you ride on. Right. The main difference also is the fork, the steering head angle and the forks are very steep, so that when you're riding with your weight over the handlebars, the front wheel's got all the load and it stays planted on the track, and you've got an engine which is very powerful. This engine's antique, it's over 25 years old, but it's got a very strong torque and over 60 horsepower. Mick, I can't help but notice this wonderful 1928 Douglas you've brought for us. Now, Mick, was this an adaptation of the road bike at the time? Or... Yeah, very much so. It's got all the normal 1928 Douglas features, the outside flywheel, all the valve gears exposed. It's got a lovely old antique BTH Magneto for the ignition, a carburetor each side, fuel and oil in the same tank, the gate change on the side. They had three gears and you chose the gear for the track. It was the first Speedway bike that was available to be purchased. Mick, Speedway, it's not a sport you just turn up and have a go. No, it will be very dangerous for a novice to get on one of these very, very powerful Speedway bikes with no brakes in competition with three other riders. Before you're allowed to go into racing, you must undergo training. And Mick very kindly took me down to a sitting Bourne Speedway Club and gave me exactly that training. What we're going to do today is hopefully learn how to ride a speedway bike. Mick, what's the, what's the steel club foot all about? The steel shoe with hardened surface is to allow your foot to skim over the track surface so you don't catch your foot because you balance a bike on your left foot in the turn. I'd like you to watch me doing a few laps. I won't be doing anything extravagant, but I'm going to try and get the bike sliding. I want you to watch the line I take on the corners which will be out wide when I make the turn and I'll be cutting in a bit closer as I leave the turn. I want you to watch my elbow position, especially on the right hand, which will be high because when it slides, I don't want the elbow in my body and the use of the throttle. See where I put the throttle on to make the bike react. So I should be listening for the, yeah. the use of the throttle, yeah. Speedway is very much in the head. If you understand how the bikes work by watching somebody who can demonstrate it, you might be able to make a faster learning curve for yourself in doing it yourself. Right Rob, you've got your land, lanyard on, I'm so secure, if anything yeah. happens it's gonna, the engine's going to stop, the fuel's on, the ignition is turned on, we're ready to go. Okay. Two laps, get the feel of the bike. By that time I should have put some cones on the track, I want you to go between the fence and the cones, and when you go past a cone, that's the time to get the throttle off. He's doing okay, he's just becoming familiar with the bike. This is an easy discipline, not easy at all. But I can see that he's confident. I hope he'll get a bit more aggressive shortly. I'll try and encourage him. Yes, come on. Yes, he's slid it a bit there. I think we should call him in for a talk. 
call him in for a talk because he must be getting tired. To make it slide, you've got to get your backside off the seat, stand on the footrest, take the big step forward and plant your left foot down hard, full throttle and pull the handlebar back. Getting the hang of that. Perfect. Power slide. You tired? Yeah, I just got to get in the habit of uh, standing off the bike here yeah. to rest a little bit. So when you actually get up, do you know what I mean? Yeah. Well, you've got you got the adrenaline rush. Oh what, my what, goodness. What you'll find you're going to be is you're going to be tense all the time, no relaxation. Yeah. Like for years, I used to hold my breath up the straightway. Right. And I got to the next corner and I've run out of oxygen. And I read in Ivan Major's Speedway book, breathe, relax, take deep breaths, load your blood with oxygen. Yeah. Transform me as a rider for stamina. Okay, so Mick, I've tried the 125. You now think I'm ready for the 250. Yeah, you're, you're struggling with the 125 because of the lack of power. Right. Now, this could cause a domestic upheaval if you bend this one. This is my wife's. It's a grass track bike, right. but it drives and rides the same as a Speedway bike. It's just got a broader, bigger spread of power, but it's geared exactly right in second gear for this little tight track. Go out and enjoy yourself. Elbow up, take the step forward, plant your foot, and as you enter the corner, give it the lot and counter steer it, and you'll go round. You're doing ever so well. I'm very proud of you. You're getting tired. The minute you feel that you're not physically able to cope with it, come in. He's knackered. <laughs> Full circuit. This is the next step. That's what you've got to try and do. Yeah. You won't expect to perhaps do it like that straight away, but I think you've got it in you. Great. Perseverance, good element of courage, remembering the previous instruction, wide in, lots of throttle, counter steer, balance, and you've got to do that because you're the man in control. You've got to try and do that to the best of your ability. Do I start on this? On no, we're going to keep you with the 250 because right, this okay. is 60 odd horsepower. A bit powerful at right. your stage at the moment. Gently get me in there again. If you get on well with a 250, big throttle on the 250, then we'll give you a shot on this one, and that's really going to catch your attention. Great. Now, power slide, brilliant. Sometimes it's easier on the big track. Well, there it is, your first crash. You've put it down now. Now you know what it's like. Mick, what am I doing wrong? It's not as fluid as it's been the no, beginning part. No, I think you're getting tired. Because you did good before, you're expecting too much. Perhaps you're not working at it as hard. Right. You were coming in faster, but you weren't aggressive enough putting it down. Right. Perhaps if you came in slower and was then more aggressive with the throttle. Yeah. I think a couple more times on this, just two or three laps at a time, and then you've got to go on the 500. You're not frightened of the throttle. No. The back's coming out, you're balancing it, you just need a little bit more confidence. Yeah. When, it, when it came a bit far, that was what you wanted, but you eased it back and corrected yeah. it. You shouldn't have corrected it. Weight over the handlebars, yeah. head, head over the front, lots of red. Oh! And you can see from the dirt that was showing, the wheel was spinning all the way around the up to the corner. He was driving the wheel away. He's getting used to the tremendous power of this motorcycle. We'll do one more, and then we let him see if he can get a slide on on the corner. Happy? Right, that was very good. Oh, oh cool. yeah. Forward, forward. Red, stop. The power of this 500 machine is just incredible. It just leaves your testicles on the back seat, actually. Well, there we have it. Rain stops play. I've had an amazing day with Mick. What a fantastic guru of teaching he is. 
and he reckons that I'm up for it, which is great. So I can't argue with that. Thanks yeah, well, a lot, Mick. I think, think you're going to be OK in a novice race tomorrow. You've had a couple of falls. You've done some terrific power slides. You've done some brilliant starts. What you've got to do is sleep on it, lock in your head what you've learned. We'll give you a bit of practice before the meeting tomorrow, and we'll see how you get on in your first competitive race. Fantastic. Well done. Mick, thanks a lot. Much appreciated. My pleasure. Fantastic.